Hello there, welcome back. My name is Adam Staha and I am your stream doctor. Oh wait. That's not me. So, today I'm going to be walking you through a very basic, very short tutorial of how I built my own custom webcam border out of Adobe Illustrator, therefore providing you the skills necessary to begin working on your own custom border for your own unique content creation. But before we get started, don't forget to come hang out with us live at twitch.tv slash 92 and stay connected on all social media. Okay, please keep in mind, this video is not meant to deter you from visiting all these extremely professional websites that provide all manner of graphics for your content creation needs. It is merely for those who would like to get the creative process started to create something a bit more personalized and unique for your own brand. Okay, so I don't waste your time. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, but make sure you do not skip any steps. This is not gonna be a very long tutorial, but each step is pretty important. All right, step one, open a new document. The new document dimensions will be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Everything else you see on here, just click pause and match it up and then press create. All right, go ahead and navigate up to window, click workspace, and then click essentials classic. That's what I'm working out of. It'll make it easier for you to follow along if you just work out of the same thing for now. Now click on preferences, which you can also find in edit, and then just scroll down to the bottom and click preferences. Go to guides and grid, and go ahead and set it to grid line every at one pixel and subdivisions at one. That means you're literally working with pixels as your base reference point. Then go ahead and make sure the grids in back is unchecked. Press OK. Alrighty, now navigate up to view and scroll down to show grid. I would like to see the grid. This is very important to work on projects like this. Now go back and verify that snap to grid is the only thing checked. Uncheck snap to pixel and snap to point. And just as a helpful tip for the new user, this blank white canvas can be a bit blinding. If you'd like to go to document setup, select the primary color as like a darker gray. The secondary color you could set as black. And then just make sure you click simulate colored paper. Now press OK. And once you zoom up, you'll see that it has now changed a little easier to work with. Grids can be so helpful. It's gonna be so symmetrical. It's so perfect, so well balanced. This is gonna be so easy to build our border. Okay, now we need to create a shape that represents your video capture device. But before we can do that, make sure you go and select your primary color as something that's somewhat visible. Let's just select blue and your secondary color should just be none. Now, go ahead and select the shape tool, which is the rectangle tool. Go ahead and click one time on your canvas and we're going to set the dimensions. Since you are obviously here to learn how to create your own webcam border, this is where you get to decide as the content creator, what dimensions would you like? If you'd like that generic landscape resolution, you've got that 1280 by 720. If you want it to be portrait, just flip width and height. If you want it to be a squared dimension, go ahead and type in the same exact dimension for both width and height. And then press OK. Remember, in your streaming application, such as Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, we can just go ahead and crop the webcam itself to fit the border that you design. So when I created this webcam border way back when, I actually created a custom shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a rectangle and make sure it aligns perfectly to my border. And there you go. Let me go ahead and just select the selection tool, drag it on over and line it up perfectly so we can build this webcam border. And all you gotta do is just drag that right to where it lines up perfectly. We'll go and double check. Perfect, look at that. Look at that. It's just so easy to work with these little squares. Okay, you've only got one layer. It's just this rectangle. I want you to first make sure that one layer is locked. Lock it. And you can go ahead and title it something if you'd like. That would be nice. Double click and let's say webcam. All right, go ahead and create a new layer by clicking this button down at the bottom and title this new layer whatever you would like. I'm going to title it primary. 
So I can walk you through actually building the webcam border. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my icon, my font, and my webcam border. Uh, I'm gonna change the opacity to 50%. All right, we're finally there. You get to work on your first primary layer. You might only have one layer, uh, but just consider this your focal point that you're going to build off of. My recommendation is to keep it as simple and as slim as possible. All right, this is your main tool that you're gonna use to build your border. Click the pin tool and get to work. This is gonna automatically snap to the grid. Hence why we changed it to snap to grid. One thing I would like to note is before you get going, go ahead and change your primary color to none and your secondary color to something very vibrant so you can see it while you're building. So as you drag the pin tool, it is connecting to each point. Uh, just have fun, get creative with it. So for the sake of time, I'm not actually going to trace all of the layers, but I'll show you what I'm getting at. All right, I'm gonna now Doctor Strange these layers into existence. So you've got your primary, your secondary, I've got the boxes below and the backdrop. All you have to do now is just go into each individual layer and set your primary color and keep or remove the secondary outline color. All right, there you have it. There is the simple webcam border that I created so many moons ago. If you created your webcam border somewhat like mine and you added in your own font and your own icon as well, simply just snap them into place where you would like them to go. If the snap to grid option doesn't really work for you, just unsnap and gradually move them into place using your arrow keys. All right, if you are done, you would like this to be exported as a PNG and just get it out there into the wild, by all means, you are more than welcome to. Simply go to File, go to Export, Save for Web, select PNG 24, select Transparency so you can have your invisible background, and then simply just save it to the destination that you would like to save to. All right, now get that bad boy uploaded into your streaming application and add a source that is marked image, and then simply just crop your video capture device so it aligns and fits with your webcam border. All you have to do is go ahead and click your video capture device and then hold down the alt key and click the side of your webcam and just drag until it fits. All right, that is it. It's a super simple process. If you're interested in adding your alert box animations and sounds, by all means, feel free to. This is what happens when I get a follow on my own Twitch channel. It lights on fire. Or for example, if I get a host. Don't be afraid to have fun with it. I know this was an extremely simple video. It was just to get you going, just to get you started. I can't wait to see what you create. And just a friendly word of advice, anytime you're making something that is meant to be special for your own channel, do not forget to express your personality within it. There is nothing wrong with taking helpful tips and notes from all these extremely successful content creators, but don't be the next them be the next you just as i will continue to be staha 92 don't be afraid to be your own person Alrighty, if you enjoyed this tutorial leave me a comment like the video and subscribe to the channel and join the knights thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time